it's about a minute 40. And by the way, you're listening to this, right? Now, I'm going to follow up and give you a little of what the visual is like. Mm -hmm. But uh, let's hear it. The San Diego Chargers are now the Los Angeles Chargers. It's going to take a lot for me to be a Chargers fan. They've got to get out there and prove themselves. So the Chargers are in L.A. Why should I care? Because we fight for every yard, every game, and every fan. We will not throw you a parade just for showing up. If you want to earn respect in this city, you got to work hard. We don't expect you to give us love. <laughs> We're going to earn it. What are you going to do to make us Chargers fans? <clears throat> You're looking at it. Anybody we can get excited about? What do you think? In LA, we need more than just football. Make it a place I could bring my kids to. Do that, and you'll see a lot more people rocking Chargers gear. I always wondered about what you guys do on your off days. Days off? What days off? What kind of music are you going to play in the games? Nothing but country music. Anything but country music. Who's the best dressed player on your team? I am, when I'm wearing clothes. Jaleel thinks he is, but it's me. No doubt. If you don't believe me, check out my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Los Angeles loves a winner. You better bring it right away. This town deserves a Super Bowl. And that's what we're going to fight for every day. On every field. In every neighborhood. All over LA. Fight for Long Beach. Fight for Carson. Fight for North Hollywood. Fight for Burbank. Fight for West Hollywood. South Central. Koreatown. Luchamos por Los Angeles. Fight for LA. Welcome to the family. Make us proud. We're all Angelinos now. LA is my home. Welcome to the fight. Uh, I, I see Brent just shaking his head. Uh, SMH. There's yeah. so many things I in mean, that. There, there's so many things now, wrong is with this, that. Is this aired on the internet? Because that's a long, you, we're not going to run that on the, TV. What's the story of this uh, Minute 40? This isn't a commercial, obviously. It's too long. Uh, I, mean, I think it's something they, they, air? I think it's been going on their social media. Uh, we, uh, social media. Vinny, Vinny Bonsignor put it up on his Twitter page. That's All where right. we found it. All right. Here, let's let's break down Gotta dissect some, of, this. some of the things that, a lot about to get this. To. Lots to First chew on. of all, if you were listening, there were several players that spoke. And outside of Phillip Rivers, could you identify any of the voices? Not only could you identify any of the voices, how about identifying any of the players? When you actually watched this, how many people in L.A. know Keenan Allen by sight? Well, they had the little scroll at the bottom, right, where they there said There was this no is... scroll. There was no identification of the names. They just had <laughs> random Charger players, whether it was Jason Verrett uh -huh. or – I mean, it was – I mean, and I'm thinking to myself, all right, one of the things you really need to do if you're trying to go into a new market – is not assume that people know who you are. Nobody in L.A. followed the San Diego Chargers. It's not on their radar, okay? So you need to start introducing the players. Right. That, to me, Fair would have been a sure. far more meet Joey Bosa, meet right. Melvin Gordon, meet Jason Verrett, meet Phillip Rivers. You'd be <laughs> stunned how many people in L.A. have no clue who Phillip Rivers is. Yeah, two things stood out to me. The, the front part of it, the first 20 or 30 seconds about we're going to show up and we're going to work hard and we don't take days off as <laughs> if this was, you know, Pittsburgh or right. Cleveland, the Rust Belt. Right. We don't need people just to show up and be pretty in L.A. We want hard workers. That's ridiculous. Uh, and then the we need a safe place to bring our kids insinuating that. Every other stadium in L.A. Mm. other than StubHub is not safe. <laughs> like the Coliseum is dangerous. Look, there's been dangerous activities at many stadiums. And there will be dangerous activities at StubHub, I promise there you. There will be uh, unsavory behavior there as no well. No question. So don't act like this is, you know, a, uh, a, a kindergartner's playground here. Here's an example of a team that did it wrong. And that would be the team I worked for, the Los Angeles Raiders. So the Raiders moved to L.A. just two years removed from winning the Super Bowl and in their second year win the Super Bowl. It's the only Super Bowl ever won by an L.A. team. They had stars. You have Marcus Allen, a local product. You got Howie Long. You got Lyle Alzado. You got Jim Plug. You got all these stars, right? So you think they're good. They've established themselves. It's been a winning organization forever. But as soon as they even started to tip over and not win – 20,000 fans they lost per game. Just click. So, and then by the time the Raiders left, they were an afterthought. 
This is going to be the problem. Forget spending money on some lame video. <laughs> this is not going to put a single fanny in a seat. The only way for the Chargers to do it is to win big early and continue to win big for eternity. <laughs>